Hello to our WEX secondary parents and guardians. This video is about how to set up the Go for Schools access so that you can see your child's information and then ultimately a little bit of a guide on how to use it. So the first step for you as a parent will always be to go to goforschools.com and you can simply search that on Google or enter it in at the top and the main page will look like this. Your next step is to click onto parents in the top right hand corner and now, if you already have your details, it would be a matter of logging in here with your email address and password. However, to set up go for schools if this is the first time you are using, you need to click into first time user. Here, put your email address, and that must be the email address that we have for you in school. The only way that a child can be associated with your email address is if it's, whether, if it's registered with us in school. So enter that email address, click new password, and then information on setting up your account will be sent to that email address. Once you've gone through that process, you can simply come back to this page on Go for School Parents, enter your email address and password, and log in. Now, when you click into Go for Schools, you will immediately see the information surrounding your child. This is a real profile of a student in our school, so I've anonymized this report. So, at the top section here, we have the at a glance section, and this will give you attendance information, form, the sort of behavior point information. You'll see their timetable for today, and you can actually click in to view their full timetable, so you can see that for the rest of the week. In future, we're currently contemplating whether we do homework through go for schools but at the moment we're not, so that'll be empty. And now down here, this is where you'll see all of the assessment information. This column is their CAT4 indicator, so this is the grade that when they sat a CAT4 test, it indicates they're likely to achieve. You've then got the target grades. So a teacher has influenced that target grade increased it from their cap four potentially um, and this is what they should be achieving at the end of the year in year 7, 8, 9 and 11 and then in year 10 and 12 at the end of that course so for year 10 it would be the target grade for the end of year 11 and in year 12 the target grade for the end of year 13. Their current grade is where they're currently at in the subject and that's based on assessments that have been fulfilled which you can see in the breakdown. Here we have information on whether they're making progress. So we measure progress against target. If students are on track to achieve their end of year target, or their sort of their target grade here, then we say that they're ex making expected progress. If they're on track to exceed that target grade by the end of the year, then we say they're on above expected progress. Predicted grades will start to be inputted soon. This is based on after our key assessment data once we have more information and then here you'll see a breakdown of different assessments how the sort of subject is broken up into different areas you'll see that in art here there's key assessment one and then there's an assessment for the research of topic and artist and different grades which are then contributing to the overall current grade here so you can move down and see this for every single subject. And the beauty is that this is live and this is real time. So as teachers are updating this, this will immediately refresh. Please don't be concerned if you see some gaps. Um, we're currently in the process of ensuring that this is all consistent. And um, you know certainly by January, this will all be in place. You can then move down to see the detailed attendance. You can see that this child possible 88 sessions, has got 88 sessions and therefore 100% attendance. If your child has a detention coming up for whatever reason, you can see that information there. You can also click in then to see the most recent, the five most recent behaviour events and you'll see that these are all green, so these are all positive. We've got a graph of information on where the different behaviour over time graphs are located with a negative underneath and then a more linear graph here demonstrating progress over time in respect to behavior. Now if any documents are added, so future reports, you can actually click into them, load them and download them from here. I hope this has been informative.
Please don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Thank you very much.